Now, my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be on cream cleansers that are great for dry skin. So, if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so I have four cream cleansers that I want to talk to you all about that are really good for dry skin. And, you know, truth be told, all of the cleansers that I'm going to talk about today can be used by all skin types. But I really do think that they are probably best suited for dry skin. And that's because of all of the benefits that they provide. Now, with all of that being said, let's get into the first cleanser. And this cream cleanser is a foaming cream cleanser by Kors, and this is it. I really like this cleanser because it has pre and probiotics in it. And you know, the pre and probiotics, as you know, are, are gonna help with acne, it can help with dryness, wrinkling, it can also help with eczema. So let's say you see a cleanser and it does doesn't even have to be this one. It could be something else with a pre or a probiotic in it. I would strongly suggest, you know, picking that up, especially if you're on the hunt, not only to address dry skin, but to address any mature uh, uh, skin issues that you may have. This does have a very nice uh, creamy texture. I do love using this cleanser either in the AM or the PM. And of course, after I use it, my skin does not feel stripped or any anything like that. It does have uh, seawater in it, which is going to help to hydrate the skin. And it also has the Greek yogurt, which is where the pre and probiotics come from, and the amaranth, which is going to protect the skin. So it's got some really good ingredients in it. Um, I do like the fact that this is made out of recyclable plastic and this is cruelty free. So if you ever see this baby on sale, I do believe they have a smaller uh, tube of this on Sephora for like $15. You could try it out and see if you like it, but you definitely would like it. Hands down, this is something that you would really love. I have thoroughly enjoyed using it and I think that you would too. Oh. All right, so the next cream cleanser that I have is by Dermalogica, and this is the Intense Moisture Cleanser, and this is another one that is marketed towards all skin types, but I think it would be better suited for dry skin. And I say that because this one has special lipids that are really going to defend against dryness. It also has a bio replenish complex, and you know, those are just fancy names by the companies. I guess their chemists come up with special formulas and then they give it a special name but that particular complex is going to defend against the skin's natural resilience which is really important if you have dry skin and it also has other antioxidants which are really going to help keep the skin looking refreshed this one too has a very nice uh cream milky type of texture um it doesn't foam up you you do feel as though your face is getting clean while you're washing it um i also feel as though this one does a good job of helping break down makeup. Once you dry your skin, it does feel nice and hydrated. It doesn't feel stripped or anything like that. I also like the fact that it doesn't have fragrance in it. It doesn't have paraben or sulfate. So if those are things that are important to you, I would definitely say to check it out. This one is really nice. I'm not sure. I'm thinking that they have a relatively affordable bottle of this on Sephora. If not, you can always go to their website and I think sign up for their little email address to get some percentage off but this is a really good one to try especially if you have really really dry skin all right, so the next one that I have up is by Kate Somerville, and this is the Exfoliate Cleanser. And this one too is marketed towards all skin types. I feel as though it would work really, really good for dry skin because of the ingredients that it has and what it actually does. It has so many ingredients in it that are going to um, exfoliate the skin gently without drying it out. You do have some cleansers out there that once you apply it, it does the exfoliating uh, process, but because of other ingredients that they've added along with it, it just kind of tends to dry it out. This one does have papaya, pineapple, and pumpkin enzymes. And these are gonna naturally exfoliate the skin without drying it out. It also has glycolic as well as lactic acid in it. And we all know that glycolic um, as well as lactic acid can help with pores. Um, it's just going to gently break away the dirt and debris that you have on your face. And again, 
again, the key word is gently and without over drying your skin. This one does have another creamy type of texture. It is um, rather uh, a little bit on the thicker side and it just lathers up into a really nice uh, creamy type of um, texture, if you will. Not like really sudsy. Once you rinse it off, your skin does not feel stripped or, you know, like you feel the need to uh, quickly apply moisturizer. Um, it doesn't feel tight or anything like that. I do like the fact that this does not contain mineral oil. It doesn't have parabens, sulfates, formaldehyde or anything like that. And it is also cruelty free. And I just need to make note, while they do sell this one at Sephora, a lot of times if you go to uh, TJ Maxx or Marshalls, they'll have skincare and definitely check to see if they have it there. If you do elect to go to uh, TJ Maxx or somewhere like that to get your skincare products or even makeup or wherever, make sure you look at the date because those products do expire you just don't want to make sure that you use something that is about to expire because it can take a minute to use up cleansers and just all types of things so that's just something to make note of and the last one that i want to talk about is by first a beauty and this is their pure skin face cleanser and this one is good for dry skin but as well as if you have issues with redness or irritation this is a good cleanser to use this is another one that once you finish using it your skin is not going to feel tight or overly dry it does have lots of ingredients that are going to help hydrate the skin as well as you know just really keep that redness and dryness at bay for example it has aloe in it and we all know that aloe is really good at soothing the skin keeping it calm as well as nurturing the skin and it also has glycerin in it and glycerin um, just acts as a natural humectant and you can just kind of think of a humectant as something that draws moisture in to your skin so that's always something good to have in really a lot of your products if you have super dry irritated skin i do love the fact that this does not have fragrance in it and i just want to um you know make it clear that i don't mind fragrance i just would prefer not to have fragrance because fragrance is that's just a whole nother story but it does not have fragrance it's cruelty free it's vegan it's uh, gluten free so if those are things that are important to you definitely check this out but especially if you have dryness as well as redness because it's got a lot of ingredients that are going to keep that redness at bay so that's it short and sweet those are the four cream cleansers that I would recommend for dry skin let me know have you used any of these cleansers if not and you have dry skin, what cleansers do you like to use? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.